Hello everyone, hope all you are having a wonderful day. So it's been a while, two things before I get into the topic of the video. First, being it's been almost a month since I've uploaded, because I'm a fickle person when it comes to my interests. And I get into a lot of things for a while, for a little while, and then I just drop it. And that's what started happening with the YouTube channel. But now I'm trying to get the ball rolling again, so let's see how it goes. The second thing being I had a very good script prepared for the whole George Floyd situation and everything that followed suit. But due to continuous updates on the situation and also the relatively good things that came out of it, I decided to, to not, up not upload that video because I spent most of the time criticizing some actions, but I realized that in the end I'm just calling out the little percentage of assholes that they were causing mayhem and disparity and negativity when in reality, there were just as many and even more amazing people that realized first and foremost, we are human. And that's the only reason we need to be compassionate and loving and understanding with each other. And I'm very proud of that. Many good things are coming out of the tragedy that was George Floyd's death. And yeah, hopefully we'll see the results in the near future. It's kind of still ongoing as well. So in, I'm planning to make another video about race and racism in general. But I don't feel like I have enough perspective. But once I do, I will make a very extensive and detailed video about this topic because it needs, it deserves so much attention due to its nuance. All right, so now on to the topic of the video. First and foremost, let's touch upon objective truths. <laughs> what do I mean by that? What I mean is certain aspects of life that I feel like could apply to everyone in the world, regardless of your environment and who you are, in your culture and it'll apply to you in life doesn't matter where you are and who you are so um, there aren't many of these quote-unquote objective truths that I've thought of and the one I'm talking about today honesty is the best policy this is the first one I came to realize some time ago myself that you know what this is undeniably accurate and so I'll be making videos in the future as well about objective truths but as it's so few and far between I don't think it'll be often and also I need to be 100% sure that I have enough perspective to say this is so this is an objective truth, you know? All right, so honesty is the best policy. To many, the topic might seem something that they feel like they've heard before. And it's true, many people do talk about it, but I feel like they don't emphasize its importance well enough because it can have such a large impact on your life way bigger than you might think so where do I start so let's first uh, let's start with more of an easier approach which is honesty with other people mainly the people around you so, 
I want you to imagine your relationships, right? You have a relationship with your friends, your family, your partner. And imagine each relationship is its own pillar. So, what dishonesty, and by dishonesty, I don't just mean lying, right? Yeah, lying, it is. Even minor lies, like what time it is, or like, for example, what, what you're doing. I also mean things that you hold it in yourself. For example, you, don't, you feel like you have to say, but you don't say it due to the fear of potential consequences that it might have. So all of these things, they make cracks in the pillar. So the longer you are in a relationship, right, with someone, I don't mean, so again, not just necessarily a partner, but also friends and family, the bigger and stronger the pillar grows. But with enough cracks, it will collapse. So what you, you so that's why honesty is so necessary because even if you've been building it for dozens of years, it could still collapse if it's not well cherished and well taken care of. You need to take care of those pillars because those pillars are a huge part of your life, your part, a huge part of your happiness and your well being. Uh, so be honest, you know, in your relationships, it's the best possible outcome, you know, and as I said, what I mean by that is, you know, as I said before, you fear the potential consequences that it might have in relationships. But on, if you're honest, even if the relationship collapses afterwards, even if you're honest and relationship collapses right afterwards, it's still the best possible thing that could have happened. Okay? I want you to remember this. Due to being honest, you'll have the best possible thing come out of the situation. This might not seem logical at first, but you need to think long term. You need to think of the bigger picture. So that's in relation to others. Now, the more difficult part, at least for me, is being honest with yourself. Maybe this is very personal because my perception of myself is dependent on how I feel. So I, don't, I can't get an accurate perception if I'm in a certain emotional state. But, uh, and this is supposed to as well, right? Once you get to accurately perceive your state, as you are, and then be honest with yourself. You'll unlock a certain power, you know? <laughs> you'll, I, I feel like you'll be, you'll feel better because we deceive ourselves on a constant basis. And that's what I've come to perceive. So if we just get rid of those deceptions, right? Even if it's a very difficult process, and I'll go back to this point that if it's a difficult process, it's still the best possible thing that could have happened, you know? You can't live in a lie. You shouldn't. Not, not, not even a lie. It doesn't have to be a lie, but a minor misreading or minor misunderstanding of your situation. Or like... If you're doing it intentionally, that's a different thing. But there's also a little bit of aspect with subconscious there, <laughs> which I cannot, I mean, I'm definitely not qualified to talk about. 
but you could be subconsciously lying to yourself and you need to find that out you need to dig deeper you need to self-reflect and once you get the points of honesty straight with your relationships outward and inward I can guarantee that you'll have a much healthier life and you'll be much happier as well it's such a big part of your spiritual well-being and hopefully I emphasized its importance well enough in this video now I'll uh, be going hopefully I'll see you guys soon and have a wonderful day